The month of January is recognized as Human Trafficking Awareness Month. And today in Harrisburg, the Wolf Administration is speaking up to raise awareness. They are asking for the public's help to put an end to human trafficking. Erie News Now State Capitol Correspondent Brendan Scanlon is joining us live with how we can all play a role in this awareness. Good evening, Brendan. Good evening, Mike and Eva. That's exactly right. Well, human trafficking is the exploitation of people using force, fraud, or coercion for the purposes of commercial sex, forced labor, domestic servitude, and many others. Now, according to the International Labor Organization, there are about 28 million victims of human trafficking worldwide. The buying and selling of people is just as wrong today as it was 400 years ago. Together, we can stop human trafficking in Pennsylvania. Human trafficking comes in different forms like labor trafficking and sex trafficking. This afternoon, state officials shared some potential warning signs like lack of knowledge of a person's community or whereabouts, restricted or controlled communication where people cannot speak for themselves, people not in control of their own identification documents, or signs of branding or tattooing of a trafficker's name often on the neck of an individual. Now, officials say if you see something, say something. Reporting trafficking is easier than ever before, and Pennsylvanians can play a major role in fighting it. The Pennsylvania State Police say the Commonwealth's geographic location and interstate system makes it a hot, hot spot for traffickers. In law enforcement, we see a lot of criminal activity associated with a lot of the interstates that run through Pennsylvania and run from city to city. We see it with drug trafficking, and unfortunately, we see it with human trafficking as well. And officials encourage the public to obviously report any signs of trafficking, any suspicions, and to also wear blue on January 11th to raise awareness. Uh, more details on how to spot and report trafficking, as well as training information and resources for victims. Those are all available on our website, erienewsnow.com.